You know, one of the reasons we got interested in AI from the very beginning is that we always viewed our mission as a timeless mission. It's to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. Google's Gemini 1.5 has been hailed as a significant leap in AI technology, aiming to outperform GPT-4. However, subsequent developments indicate that Gemini 1.5 has failed to meet expectations, notably in terms of outperforming GPT-4. Let's look at how Gemini 1.5 failed to deliver on its promise and what this means for the future of AI development. OpenAI saw a text-to-video AI model is going viral in the internet, but it isn't the only company that has unveiled a huge AI advancement. Days after rebranding its AI chatbot as Google Gemini, Alphabet Inc. has made a huge announcement. Google has debuted the Gemini 1.5 Pro, its latest next-generation AI model. The new model is based on MOE architecture and is said to be significantly more advanced than its predecessors. What is Gemini 1.5 Pro? The Gemini 1.5 Pro's ability to recognize long context across modalities is particularly noteworthy. Google believes that the Gemini 1.5 Pro can achieve comparable performance to the previously introduced Gemini 1.0 Ultra, albeit with far less computing power. The Gemini 1.5 Pro's most notable feature is its ability to process up to 1 million tokens of information on a steady basis. This is undoubtedly the longest context window for any large-scale foundation model study so far. To put this in perspective, the Gemini 1.0 model have a context window of up to 32,000 tokens. The GP4 Turbo has 1,028,000 tokens, and the Claude 2.1 has 2 million tokens. While the model includes a regular 1,028,000 tokens context window, Google is allowing a select group of developers and enterprise clients to test it with a context window of up to 1 million tokens. The Gemini 1.5 Pro is now in preview mode, allowing developers to test the model with Google's AI Studio and Vertex AI. Google claims that since the launch of Gemini 1.0, it has been continually testing, refining, and improving its capabilities, and one 1.5 Pro is the result of those efforts. The 1.5 Pro's core technology is based on the mixture of experts' architecture. The MOT architecture can be thought of as a collective approach in which the entire problem is broken into multiple subtasks that are then trained by a group of experts on each subtask. In essence, the MOD model considers various input data with different learners or experts. This is a significant shift in Google's approach, which leverages on research and engineering advancements across nearly every aspect of its underlying model development and infrastructure. Google states the new MOE architecture makes the Gemini 1.5 Pro more efficient for training and serving. What are the applications of the Gemini 1.5 Pro? The Gemini 1.5 Pro can supposedly process up to 7 million words or around 30,000 lines of code. This is 35 times more than the Gemini 1.0 Pro can take in. Furthermore, the Gemini 1.5 Pro can handle up to 11 hours of audio and one hour of video in a variety of languages. The demo video on Google's official YouTube channel demonstrates the model's long context understanding through the use of a 402-page PDF. The demo also demonstrated a live interaction with the model using PDF file as a prompt, which had 3,026,658 tokens and 256 tokens worth of graphics. The demo required a total of 3,027,309 tokens. Another demonstration demonstrated the Gemini 1.5 Pro with a 44-minute video, a recording of the silent film Sherlock Jr., and a variety of multimodal cues. The film had a total of 6,096,161 tokens, whereas the graphics had 256 tokens each. In the demonstration, a user requests that the model show specific instances and relevant information from the video. The model responds with the exact timestamp and details from the video. Another demo showed how the model interacted with 100,633 lines of code using a variety of multimodal prompts. What is the price and when will it be available? According to reports, in a preview, Google stated that Gemini 1.5 Pro with a 1 million token context window would be free to use. Google may create pricing levels in the future for the approach, which begins with 1 million 28,000 context windows and scales up to 1 million tokens. Gemini 1.5 Pro represents a new phase in Google's AI development. In December of last year, Google released its most adaptable 
AI model, Gemini 1.0 in three sizes, Gemini Ultra, Gemini Pro, and Gemini Nano. At the time of debut, Google stated that Gemini 1.0 outperformed various cutting-edge benchmarks, including code and text. The Gemini series has been renowned for its cutting-edge capabilities and complex reasoning. All Gemini sizes are noted for their multimodal, which includes the capability to read text, images, audio, and other media. What is GPT-4? Generative Pre-Trained Transformer 4 is a multimodal big language model developed by OpenAI and the fourth in a series of GPT-based models. It was released on March the 14th, 2023, and is publicly available through the premium chatbot product ChatGPT+, OpenAI's API, and the free chatbot Microsoft Copilot. As a transformer-based model, GPT-4 employs a pre-trained paradigm that uses both public data and data licensed from third-party providers to forecast the next token. Following this stage, the model was fine-tuned with reinforcement learning feedback from humans and AI for human alignment and policy compliance. According to OpenAI, GPT-4 is more reliable, creative, and able to handle much more nuanced instructions than GPT-3.5. They created two versions of GPT-4, with context windows of 8,192 and 32,768 tokens, representing a major advance over GPT-3.5 and GPT-3, which were limited to 4,096 and 2,049 tokens, respectively. Some of GPT-4's capabilities were predicted by OpenAI prior to training, but others proved difficult to forecast due to breakdowns in downstream scaling laws. Unlike its predecessors, GPT-4 is a multimodal model. It can take images and text as input. This gives it the capability to characterize the humor in strange images, summarize text from screenshots, and solve test questions that include diagrams. Despite enormous expectations, Gemini 1.5 has not lived up to the hype. In a variety of tests and benchmarks, it has failed to outperform GPT-4 in terms of accuracy, coherence, and natural language comprehension. This raises concerns regarding the efficiency of Google's strategy and the underlying technology behind Gemini 1.5. One of the primary areas where Gemini 1.5 falls short is in comprehending content and producing meaningful responses. Users have noticed times where Gemini 1.5 generates incomprehensible or irrelevant output, suggesting a lack of coherence and intelligence when compared to GPT-4. This inability to understand complicated language and context restricts its usefulness in real-world applications. Furthermore, Gemini 1.5's performance on complicated tasks including text summarization, question answering, and creative writing has been disappointing. Users have discovered that GPT-4 routinely beats Gemini 1.5 in many areas, underlying the need for additional refining and development of Google's AI models. While Gemini 1.5 has improved over earlier versions, such as quicker processing speeds, and increasing memory capabilities, these changes have not resulted in superior performance when compared to GPT-4. Gemini 1.5's inability to outperform GPT-4 in important areas, like natural language processing and contextual comprehension, suggests that Google may need to reconsider its AI development strategy. Furthermore, user feedback and reviews show widespread unhappiness with Gemini 1.5's performance, with complaints about accuracy, relevancy, and overall text quality. This this poor reception raises questions about the usability and efficiency of Google's AI technology, particularly in applications that require precise and contextually relevant responses. In conclusion, while Google's Gemini 1.5 is a step towards AI development, its failure to outperform GPT-4 highlights the complexities of expanding natural language processing technologies. Gemini 1.5's issues underscore the importance of constant innovation and refinement in AI algorithms to suit the changing expectations of consumers and applications. As AI technology advances, it is critical for developers to correct flaws and harness insights obtained from each iteration to drive future improvements. Despite the challenges encountered by Gemini 1.5, Google and the broader AI community continue to prioritize the development of more advanced AI systems, with the eventual goal of producing AI that can really understand and engage with human language in a meaningful way. Despite the obstacles and setbacks, the emergence of AI technologies such 
such as Gemini 1.5 and GPT-4, demonstrates AI's rapid evolution and ability to alter businesses and civilizations. While Gemini 1.5 may have fallen short in this case, it is most likely only a step in the ongoing quest for increasingly intelligent, powerful, and influential AI systems. Thank you for watching this video. We genuinely hope you found it to be both insightful and practical. Please click the like button and tell your loved ones about it. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to make sure you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Until then, it's bye for now.